hello welcome back so in this lecture we're going to learn locators so what is locators locators are the way to identify an html element on a web page uniquely so that a selenium web driver can find that element or object and perform some action like click type close and so on there are eight types of locators available in the HTML page. Those are ID, XPath, name, CSS selector, class name, tag name, link text, and partial link text. So what does it exactly mean? You know, what are let's see an example. If you go to our practice page, so this is the link you can find if you go to our code in box automation lab and then come all the way down you will find a link for practice where you will find a lot of different type of object or web element that usually you see to do a practice so example one of the practices is a radio button you can see dynamic you know uh, drop down example uh, static drop down example you can see dynamic it means you know if you type something it shows uh, some result based on your your text and then there's a checkbox uh, you know there is a open new window tab something like that you know you can see the table there is a uh, you know uh, javascript alert you will find a lot of others different type of you know example over here in single page and moving forward we're going to use a lot this page to do our lot of exercise so anyways so example you know this is one of your button like open button so open window so if i click on there it will open another new window so we'll take to the different side okay that's our codingbox.com site so now you know you have to do for your test case you have to click up there and it will then it will open a new window so to click on this button you have to find where this button you know so you have to tell the driver hey driver go to this page and find there is a button it's called open window and apply a action which is click then it will able to do it you have to tell all those things by your script so you know yeah you, your driver need to know exactly where this button so to get that answer you know to find that web element this is an element everything you see in your application is called a web element or web object to find an object you have to give a unique address of that object using some of the properties okay let me see what's what are those properties if you right click you can find the properties inspect and then you can go to under the in an element you can find here is the related html code for this button so you will find on this html code some of the properties or attribute that belongs to this open window button here is a uh, one of the attribute is called id and the class you can see and this is attribute and this is the value id and it has a value open window and a class this is the value so those are the two attribute or properties that you so it's been created to locate that button uniquely so we have to use you know either any one of the look you know uh, attribute or properties you know to identify or give a address unique address to find that element and those properties are not are nothing is called you know attribute or those properties is used to you know define the locator or address for this uh, uh, open window button so here is one of the uh, uh, locator it's id another one is a class you know if we just go another one say inspect for open tab for this one here is the relevant html code you can find there is an id also for this and there is a class also for this okay so you can use either any one of them so if you go back to now if you go back to now over here you can see id we have seen id so id is one of the unique locator that that help you to define to locate your or address that uh, you know uh, button or any web object 
the similarly the expat expat is not a direct locator that you will find over here for for any object you know it is something that you have to create we'll learn on your next class but name you will find a name or class name you know you'll find a name or class name here is you can see class right there is a class name okay you'll find a class name and there is a css selector expat and css selector that you have to you know create this two locator following some syntax we'll learn in our next class but however you can use even tag name you can use even tag name what is tag name tag name is nothing you see at the red at, uh, at the beginning is this is the tag a tag this is a deep tag this is a deep tag this is a fill set tag so those are the tags uh, you can use sometimes even tag name you know uh to address or to locate any object you know we'll learn as i said in our next class and link text and link text is used you know to to object to locate any any object where it has a the text has a link like this one this one this button it has a link you can see this is the this is the you know address this is the address so and it, it has a text also so open tag open tab so it has a text so link text use to address any locator what have a text and a link okay that's why it's link text and there is a another one is called partial link text and partial link text is used for the same reason but if your text is too long so like over here this is a that open tab it's a small text but sometimes we see that you know your text has a it is a it has a too long tag okay example probably you know join our our youtube family so to spy this one you can click up there and click there sorry um let's click here so this is that you know you can see uh, this is the html code relevant for this join our youtube family and here the text is quite long like join our youtube family you know it's not too long but sometimes you can see uh some of the text probably this one you can see the recent post you know all this this the whole text is it has a link text so it's when your text is long and this text has a uh, link tie with that time you can see use partial link test in that case you don't have to use the whole text you know instead of you can use the pressure you know the part of the text and using the link text locator to uniquely define or address your you know object so those are the you know eight major locator that we use you know to address any object so that you know your web driver can find you those element and can apply some of the job okay